Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the Tasty Guava channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you something that you should get done immediately if you have a pretty decent gaming mouse here in 2024 and will possibly make your life so much better, especially in terms of performance inside of Minecraft. So, let's get into it you may notice when you open up clients such as lunar client you actually get a notification about high mouse polling rate it does say that if you have a polling rate above 500 which typical gaming mice nowadays have 1000 and high-end gaming mice have a minimum of 4000 sometimes up to 8000 hertz polling rate polling rate basically just just the delay of information uh between you know you moving your mouse around and how much is sent to your computer that's a very basic way of describing it and and, uh, you know, the higher you have, the better. It is technically better for games like eSports, like Overwatch, maybe Counter-Strike. But if you've watched any videos about gaming mice, these highest polling rates can actually cause really serious detrimental performance problems for computers, especially if you have a low-end system and especially depending on the game. Minecraft does not support super high-end polling rates, and even 500 can be problematic because this game is built on Java. It's an old game, it's not that well optimized, and it's not really set up to be taking in these high-end polling rates. And because of this, you may experience issues such as itching or really poor performance in 1% lows or 1%. So basically, you might get freeze frames, your game might stutter and like take a while to recover sometimes. So I'm really quickly gonna show you how to fix that and uh, hopefully resolve a lot of of your performance problems so let's get into it now the first thing you want to do is just close your game and close your game client and you're gonna to want to head on over to your browser choice for me that's gonna be waterfox and this part is going to really depend on what mouse you have if you have any modern decently high-end mouse or just a name brand mouse like glorious hyper x razor corsair they're all gonna have their own respective softwares where you can adjust the polling rate typically on a mouse not that i've seen anywhere actually um you can only adjust maybe your dpi or maybe your rgb with buttons on the mouse itself but typically you need to download the the appropriate software now to save you guys some time i'm just going to link a few different softwares in the description uh, with corsair iq razor synapse logitech g hub hyperx ingenuity pulsar uh or sorry pulsar <laughs> uh, electronics Endgame and uh steel series with their respective softwares for me it's going to be glorious core because i do use a glorious mice um now i believe all of those brands i just listed off just now all their software should probably have a polling rate adjustment for me i'm going to do it in glorious because that's the mouse that i have but the process it's pretty much going to be the exact same i'm just going to open up glorious core over here and give it a second to detect my mouse now if you are a competitive player there's going to be one issue for you where you do have to adjust your your polling rate depending on the game for me i don't typically game at a really high level so right now i'm just gonna drop it down i don't really have to worry about it however there might be times where i want to play a competitive game and that 1k hertz is going to make a difference so right here i selected my mouse the model o wireless which is a very popular mouse for the minecraft scene so this video might be directly targeted towards some of you so i'm gonna click on the performance tab we're gonna see a few different numbers here um typically you don't want to mess with any of this you know you have your dpi your lift off distance which you shouldn't really touch unless you have something like ceramic skates on your mouse which does actually increase how high off your mouse pad your mouse sits so if you do have an issue where you pick up your mouse and doesn't like you know stop tracking momentarily uh you are gonna have to adjust your lift off distance as well debounce time uh you don't really need to worry about that the lower the better however you can get double clicking so if you ever having double clicking issues outside of the game or you just don't really you know jitter click or anything like that you can raise this um i think by default this mouse comes with 10 uh but i keep it at zero it does double click sometimes so it might depend on you now this is the option we're looking Looking for the polling rate typically standard on all mice you buy nowadays it's going to be a 1000 hertz uh polling rate um some more higher end newer mice are standard with 2000 and then high end mice are coming standard with 4000 to 8000 polling rate uh which is really high it can cause performance issues especially if you don't have that high end of a cpu um i believe this is typically a cpu bottleneck if you get performance issues just from turning this on in general however new games and well relaunched games like counter strike i'm pretty sure uh, all support up to 8,000 polling rate. Um, now, this is only really going to make 
that noticeable of a difference if you are a competitive player um obviously it removes barriers but for minecraft itself it doesn't support a polling rate that high so as you might have seen in lunar earlier in the video it gives you a notification about 500 however you might still have issues with this so i do recommend trying it if the 500 does stop your mouse from skipping across the screen or having freeze frames or just you know a jittery experience or just a weird experience with your mouse in minecraft specifically you might need to lower it even further however i do recommend try to keep it at 400 and hopefully that does solve your issue if you do have a general jitteriness inside of minecraft i do recommend possibly you know looking at what's running in the background uh making sure you don't have any unwanted software like malware uh possibly reinstalling windows and well doing a more stable overclock if your computer is overclocked that does also cause performance issues there uh but yeah as long as you have a well-tuned system that you take care of um this should solve your issue on some high-end people's computers i'm pretty sure this doesn't really cause an issue uh, but for me i've definitely noticed jitteriness when i have 1000 hertz so i'm gonna drop it to 500 and it shouldn't give me that notification the next time i launch and well my game should be a bit smoother and now that i'm back inside of lunar client you may notice that i'm not getting a pop-up as i'm talking i just opened it and that's because it's not giving me a notification doesn't detect that i have a 500 hertz polling rate or above that i mean and uh, yeah we should be able to log on to hypixel now for me i've already resolved any major issues i've had but this is going to improve my experience overall uh with performance inside of the game and i shouldn't have any jitteriness it should be really smooth i shouldn't feel any skipping i shouldn't feel any you know frame freezes and i shouldn't get any moments of like sudden fps drops outside of you know other computer issues or loading in a big map or something like that or just a lot of effects on screen anyways i hope this video was very informative and helped you guys out if you guys have been having issues I'm trying to make videos a little bit quicker as in I'm trying to make them not so long and not talk so slow because um, uh, some of you did mention that my videos could be a little bit quicker uh, which would be possibly just a bit better for the viewing experience but I hope that fixed your issue here on Minecraft if you know someone's made complaints about you know their game doesn't run that well and they have some performance problems and you know maybe they have a decent mouse um, this could solve their issue so make sure to send it over to them and I uh, hope it helps you guys out i will be dropping a lot more you know variety of content obviously my channel is constantly changing during 2024 really just hope that this all helped you guys out because that was bothering me for a long time uh but yeah you know as always make sure to check out my discord server which is in the description below completely free to join we just revamped it it's really awesome we have so many cool channels and you know it's a great place to meet fr people make friends and just have some fun and this is an interesting room back here and uh yeah always uh just don't forget subscribe turn on notifications so you guys never miss a future upload drop a like if you enjoyed just like if you didn't comment let me know if this helped you out and any other issues you're having maybe i can post about it and help you guys out but yeah i will catch you guys in the next Don't one bye bye <laughs>